Hi there, welcome to Run Call Kids at Home. Today we're continuing our series on emotions and we're looking today in particular about the emotion of feeling guilty. Now normally when we feel guilty, it's because we've done something that we shouldn't have done or because we haven't done something that we should have done. But we're not dealing about how to make things right, we're talking about how to deal with the actual emotion that you feel of feeling guilty and how God can help you with that. Let's go to headquarters and find out how to deal with feeling guilty. So Kat, ready for your first day on the job? I am so excited to get started. I think today is gonna to be absolutely perfect because... Jaden, what happened? I'm so sorry I'm late. My alarm didn't go off. Well, it's... and then my dog got loose, so I had to chase him through five different backyards. Wow, Jaden. And you then just... my ride forgot to pick me up, so I had to ride my bike all the way here. Do you have any idea how windy it is outside? Jaden, huh? Today's your day off. <laughs> we. Our Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. Hi, my name's Jaden, and this is the time I learned what to do when I feel guilty. Oh, hey Harper. You're looking happier than you were earlier. Yeah, my morning might not have had the best start, but I can make sure the rest of the day is a good one. That's a good attitude to have. What are you working on? Oh, this is just my journal. Whenever I have a bad day or a bad experience with someone, I just write it in here and get all of my feelings out. I always feel better after. I like journaling too. It's such a good way to deal with those sorts of feelings. Although. I'm not sure bringing it here was such a great idea. Why not? Well, you know how it is here. Nothing ever stays secret for long. I stopped bringing my journal to Connect HQ because I kept worrying someone would accidentally read it. <laughs> well, everything will be fine. I keep it close by my side. If you say so. Oh, and here's this. It's a gift from the Connect board. Everyone's getting one. Nice! This will make carrying my stuff around a lot easier. I'm supposed to help Mike with transmissions in a few minutes, and then Alyssa asked if I would help her archive a few videos, and then we have a few walk-ins coming in, and oh, yeah, I'm supposed to talk to Kat. You really know how to not take a day off. <laughs> yeah, I know. <gasps> hey, I just... I'm sorry I'm a little late. The walk-ins were here a little longer than I was expecting. No problem, Jaden. Hey, how's everything going? I remember my first day at HQ. It wasn't easy. I love the work and working with everyone here. But this is what I'm having trouble with. A softball tournament? My old team, the Welcome Group, we're a part of a softball league and the tournament's today. But since I moved teams, I can't play with them anymore. And I'm feeling guilty, like I'm letting them down. I'm sure everyone on your team is happy for your new job. I think they are. And I keep trying to tell myself, I can ask God to give me grace when I feel guilty. I can ask God to give me grace when I feel guilty. Right, we all feel guilty sometimes. But Jesus died for our sins so we can let go of the guilt we feel. That's what grace means. But I don't always know how else to deal with those feelings. You wanna know what I would do if I were you? I would write how I'm feeling in a journal. And that's what I always do when I'm feeling bad. That's not a journal. Oh no. Is everything all right? Oh, uh, uh, yes, it's fine, it's totally fine. I just, um, I mean, I forgot to go do something with the stuff, with the thing, you know? So you don't mind if I just go do that stuff thing, do you? Um, you can do whatever you need to do, Jaden. We can meet once you're done. Okay. And Jaden, if you decide you need some help, you can always come talk to me. Right, but I'm fine, really. Maybe this is mine. 
Hey, what are you doing with my bag? Sorry, sorry. I just thought this might have been mine. Why do you have all this stuff with you at work? The Whatnots group was cleaning out their art supplies and said I could have some of their stuff. But I think your bag is on your arm. <sighs> yeah, I thought so too, but I must have switched with someone else. I can't find my journal. Oh, wow. That might be a problem. Would you please, please, please help me find my bag before someone finds my journal and reads it? Sure thing. And I know exactly where to look. Oh, my. Yeah, people keep leaving their bags when they come to eat in here. But I'm sure your journal's here somewhere. Okay, let's start looking. Come on! Somebody post an update already! Ooh, somebody takes their social media seriously? <laughs> no, it's not that. I mean, I do see social media as an important form of communication and community building, and I also think... Too much information? It's my old team. They're playing in a softball tournament today, and I don't know how they're doing. What if they lose? Will they hate me for leaving? What if they blame me? Maybe I should have pushed my move off a few weeks. Maybe yeah. if I... I try not to be the voice of reason if I can help it, but it sounds like you're shouldering a lot of guilt. May I see that? I think I know the perfect video in the archives that can help. I'd love to see it. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God. is alive. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. Yeah, he climbed up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And as the Savior passed by that tree, he looked Zacchaeus' way. And he said, Zacchaeus, come down from there, for I'm coming to your house today. Yeah, I'm coming to your house today. Yo, the crowds were kind of angry, because they didn't understand how Jesus, he could hang out with a sinner like this man. Because you see, Zacchaeus was a tax collector. Nobody liked guys like him. But Zacchaeus wanted to make it right with God. He knew his life was full of sin. He said, I'll give half of my wealth to the poor. If I overcharge, I'll pay you back times four. The Son of Man has shown me grace, and now he's coming to my house today. Yeah, he's coming to my house today. In the story of Zacchaeus, it's really easy to see. Yo, we don't have to be perfect. We just have to believe. Jesus came to seek and save all those who are lost. God sent his son to die for us. Yeah, he paid the ultimate cost. Now Jesus, Jesus, he's living in my heart today. Yeah, he's living in my heart today. Zacchaeus was a wee little man. You see, Zacchaeus did a lot of wrong. But instead of dwelling on his guilty feelings, he let Jesus into his home and decided to make things right. So you think I did something wrong by leaving my team? Honestly, no. But sometimes we feel guilty about things even if we did nothing wrong. I feel like that right now. Yeah, so do what Zacchaeus did. Don't hide from God, talk to him. He'll help you let go of your guilty feelings and then make things right with your team. Tell them you're sorry you can't be there for the tournament, but you're rooting for him. You know, for someone who doesn't like being the voice of reason, you sure sound pretty reasonable. Don't worry. It won't last long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, don't forget your bag. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Mike. You're welcome. Think I earned myself a pizza pizza. Hmm. What's this? What? Pizza? I know whose bag that is. Oh, it's not in here. 
And that's the last of the bags. What do I do now? Well, we know someone here at HQ has it. It'll turn up sooner or later. But I just can't stop thinking about what you said. What if someone finds my journal and reads what I wrote about them and their feelings are hurt? This is the last thing I wanted to do. <sighs> I feel so guilty. I think I know a verse that could help you. Would you like me to teach it to you? Sure. It's from the book of 1 John, chapter 1, verse 9. Say it with me like this. 1 John 1, 9. 1 John 1, 9. If we confess our sins to him, if we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us. He is faithful and just to forgive us. If you feel like you've done something wrong, talk to God about it. Ask him for forgiveness. No matter what you've done, he'll forgive you. Okay, okay, I can do that. God, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for not doing more to protect my friend's feelings. Please forgive me and help me make this situation right. That was great, good job. Thanks, I felt a little better. What should I do now? I think you need to talk to a trusted adult. Kat would be a great person to talk to. What? Do I have to? You don't want to keep guilt a secret. I'm sure she'll know what to do next. Okay, I'll go find her. Cat? Something on your mind, Jaden? I'm just gonna say everything in one go, if that's okay. Go right ahead. Okay, well you see I have this journal that I use to vent about all the bad things that happen to me, including things that people do that upset me. And you see I put the journal in a bag, the bag that looks like a hundred other bags here at HQ. And I really think I switched bags with someone else and I'm really worried that they're gonna find the bag and read why I wrote about them in the journal and feel really bad about it. But I've already asked God for forgiveness, but I'm still really worried that something's okay, gonna okay. happen. And... Deep breath. <sighs> Thank you for being honest. I've been dealing with some guilt today too, so I think I know how you're feeling. You did the right thing by asking God for forgiveness. <laughs> Thanks. Now, I think I may know who has your bag. Why don't we go see if we can sort all this out, okay? <laughs> oh, Jaden, I'm so sorry. I made your time here at Connect HQ horrible. I've been such a terrible friend. <laughs> oh, no. Jaden, you know what you need to do. Mike, I'm sorry. You're sorry? Why are you sorry? I used that journal to vent, to help me feel better after a long day. No one, and I mean no one, was ever supposed to read it. I'm sorry I even brought it to HQ. And I'm sorry you had to read all those things I wrote about you. I don't think you're a terrible friend. You've always been so nice to me. What about that time I whistled the Canadian anthem for two days straight? Or when I ate half your Rice Krispie treats that you made for everyone? Or when I made you run in place while wearing a sparkly vest for 10 minutes straight on the off chance that it might improve Connect HQ signal? Even then, I was really tired when I wrote all those things. And the next day I realized I got all worked up over nothing and didn't give it a second thought. Oh, that's a relief. I just feel bad for reading a journal in the first place. I know better than that. I should have just- Mike! Mike! It's okay. I can ask God to give me grace when I feel guilty. And you can too. I can ask God to give me grace when I feel guilty. I surely have that memorized by now. We can all work on it together. Hi! I'm Jaden, and I'm a part of Connect HQ. I have a verse I'd like to share with you. Say it with me like this. 1 John 1, 9. If we confess our sins to Him, He is faithful and just to forgive us. Sometimes we all deal with feelings of guilt, but God is always here for us and ready to listen to us. And if we ask Him for forgiveness, He'll always give it to us. Zacchaeus did a lot of wrong things in his life, but instead of hanging on to his guilty feelings, he welcomed Jesus into his home and decided to make better decisions from that point on. It doesn't matter why you feel guilty or even if you've done something wrong. If you're dealing with guilt, don't keep it a secret. Talk to a trusted adult about what you're feeling. And if you need to apologize to God or someone else, do that too. God doesn't want you to carry around feelings of guilt. He wants to forgive you and help you make better choices. That's what grace is all about. Don't forget, I can ask God to give me grace when I feel guilty. And remember, 
Connect HQ is here to help you. What do you think? Is it different enough yet? I think it needs more buttons. Good plan. I am never mistaking my bag for anyone else's again. <laughs> I know it's kind of on the nose for a person named Kat to decorate her things with cats, but I don't care. Something about cats just makes me happy. Zacchaeus decided he wanted to be friends with Jesus. And guess what? You can be friends with Jesus too. If you want to make that choice today, all you have to remember are the ABCs. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. Did you make that choice today? If so, be sure to talk about it with a parent or a leader you trust.